This project has been my nemesis uh, for quite some time. Things I'm his nemesis. Whilst on the surface quite a simple um, pedal project, it has taken me since well before Christmas to get made and finished. Uh, there's quite a story involved with it. Uh, this originally started as a kit from a um, pedal kit supplier. I have spent a long time using a digital reverb pedal, very cheap one. Nothing wrong with it at all, but I really wanted a decent analog reverb effect. So I had a look, thought I'd like to make my own, ordered a kit, um, which it turned out half the parts didn't arrive with, or the, the, the kit actually had quite a few bits missing. I need parts! Customer after sales service of the uh, kit manufacturer in question wasn't brilliant. Uh, the Facebook forum, I did point out that I'd not got a lot of the parts and nothing was really said, so... Go ahead and ask customer service. Anyway, I got on, tried to uh, get the parts together, put it all together, it didn't work, I spent ages troubleshooting, uh, still didn't work, in the end, so much messing about with the original PCB, I reckon I'd probably destroyed it with so much soldering and desoldering. Get a head full of bad wiring, I guess. Also, it uses a belt and brick uh, for the reverb effect, which is a very fragile thing, I have since found out. I found another kit supplier uh, called Fuzzdog, I've put a link to them on, on, on this video, who have been fantastic. Uh, different reverb effect, but I, I got uh, the sort of bare bones kit from them and was able, after a lot of messing about and twiddling with parts I'd already got, to build this, and I am quite happy with the result now. Um, it is it is really quite a frightening thing in its way, but uh, but yeah, great fun. It's a really, really good quality PCB. It's beautifully etched and very, very clearly printed. Really thick as well. <laughs> Cave?
Thank you. 